Hey, I'm Rodney, and I am an embedded software engineer with SunSwift. The Bridgestone World Scholar Challenge is a competition where students, teams, and universities from around the world come to Australia to race their solar electric vehicles from Darwin to Adelaide, over 3,000 kilometres. So what we're trying to achieve in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge is to essentially win and show the world what we're capable of. SunSwift is a team of roughly 90 university students and our goal is to build solar electric vehicles with the aim of innovating these technologies and advancing the industry. So this year for the first time in SunSwift history, we're able to set up race control where we can monitor telemetry, live telemetry data, monitor the status of the car, communicate with the BWSC team. I think the key item to our success in the BWSC will be the fact that we have our own router and internet connection in SR7. This allows our team and the convoy to remotely connect uninterrupted to the vehicle. The fact that the car has its own router and internet connection means that we can send telemetry data off it to the cloud so that everyone in the team, including race control behind me, they can monitor and watch live streams, monitor the data. So we are mainly relying on the Crater Point router to provide 4 and 5G cellular connection, but in areas where this connection is unavailable, the router will dynamically change and switch to low Earth orbit satellite. And because as you know, we're driving from Darwin to Adelaide, 3,000 kilometers straight to the heart of Australia. There's little coverage out there, so the fact that we can switch dynamically from cellular to satellite is amazing. Like, what's behind us right now wouldn't be possible without that. So SR7 is currently driving through Australia in a seven-car convoy, and the fact that everyone in that convoy can access the car's network is so amazing. So everything in the car, from sensors to the accelerator, steering wheel pedal, brake pressure sensor, tail lights, side indicators, GPS, they're all using the internet connection that Cradle Point router provides. So the car's battery is set up so that if there's an error or a temperature change, overheating, that will send data to the telemetry to notify of that occurrence. And then we're able to rectify that situation, stop the vehicle, get people out, fix the issue. None of that would be possible without that telemetry data. It's a big relief because we can actually now foresee potential issues that may arise earlier through this connection to the system. So we want to show the public that what we're doing here in solar electric vehicles in general are pretty much the way forward in terms of green energy. Because Cradle Point allows us to send our live telemetry data and live stream to the cloud across Australia, we can set up race control and have people help out our BWSC team essentially plan and strategize for them in advance so that they can focus on more important things. The Cradle Point NetCloud Manager allows us to monitor the status and strength of all devices connected to the Wi-Fi, which we found fantastic. It really makes it helpful for us. There are so many benefits that Cradle Point has provided to us as a team. For example, having reliable end-to-end -end connectivity is essential. It's a simplified network management. It's a simple setup. The API is for vehicle tracking and telemetry and the interoperability with low earth orbit satellites. So there's various conditions um, all the way from Darwin to Adelaide. There's places that are super cold at night. There's places that are super hot at night. So we need devices and components that have the ruggedness and the durability to survive those conditions. For example, Credit Point's ruggedized hardware is able to withstand these extreme conditions. Our team deploys edge compute onto the Cradle Point router so that we are able to monitor the connectivity of the Wi-Fi. The Cradle Point router provides us with uninterrupted internet connectivity and for live telemetry data, this is essential. 